so in this video we're going to cover how to create your first trip and do a quick walkthrough of the itinerary builder interface so once you sign into your account at travify.com you'll see the blue button in the top left corner uh, that says new trip now when i click that you'll see an option to be able to create an itinerary or proposal you can choose either for more information and details and what the proposal format is check out the proposal video in the getting started guide uh, but for right now we'll click itinerary to focus on that uh, for this video so i'll choose itinerary that uh, creates a new trip in the itinerary builder and uh, we haven't added any information to it so let's just do a quick walkthrough of the interface here so to start with i'll choose the settings option at the top this is where i can update the trip name uh, set a start date um, i can choose to add in pricing or leave it blank there's a trip description field as well if I want to add in a message to my clients or an overview of the itinerary, as well as many, many other options uh, that I can utilize. Just for the sake of time for this video, we won't go through all of those details uh, uh, in this video, but you can uh, explore that within the trip settings window. Now, as well within here, what you'll notice is in the interface, we have our list of days on the left. Now, once you actually set a start date, those will populate in, but you don't have to. You can also choose to create uh, itineraries without a date if it's in an initial planning stage or if you're creating a template. But once you set those dates, then you can choose a new day to create additional days. And what's also nice is everything's drag and drop. So if you need to reorder days or shuffle things around or add a day at the very beginning of an itinerary, that's really easy. You can just drag and drop that up like you see that I'm doing there and drop that in to add a new day at the beginning of the itinerary. Now, once you select a day, you will see that it loads in that center column and then you can add information or travel details to that day. Now you can use that new event button to choose different categories of information to add in, uh, which we'll go over in uh, and the additional videos within the Getting Started Guide. Or you can access your library over on the right side. And the library is where uh, any of the items that you've previously saved uh, that you'd like to reuse over and over again, you can simply drag and drop these over onto the itinerary like I'll do here with the uh, resort for the Breathless Resort here. I can just drag and drop that over from my, from my library and add it in that way. But then, uh, as I mentioned, over on the right side, you have your library, as well as you can toggle to uh, view the city guide content, search for destination that we have available in there, and a discussion area where you can access the chat with the mobile app uh, through your clients, and then your sending options at the top. And that's uh, those are the three primary ways that you can share that uh, share the itinerary or the proposals out with your clients. And we'll cover that in the video for sending itineraries to clients and collaborators that you can check out in the Getting Started Guide. Now, lastly, within here, you'll see a more option at the top. That's where you can access a people section to uh, be able to uh, upload uh, individual clients or groups with a spreadsheet upload that way. So a few different options within there that you can explore. Uh, but that's just a quick walkthrough of the itinerary builder interface.